Hi guys, I'm still here. I am fit to be tied today. I'm trying to paint in Christmas colors, you guys. I've been trying off and on for the last couple weeks. I've posted nothing Christmassy because for some reason, it's just everything is evil and mean and nothing says ho, ho, ho. Oh shit, paint all over the place. Nothing says ho, 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 Merry Christmas, especially the paint's gray all over the floor. So, we're going to do a super quick mop up with that. Here it is. And I'm going to carry on because it's going to be one of those days. So my last two pieces that I tried to pour, I used Payne's Gray as contrast and it didn't work. So now I'm going to try Raw Umber because it definitely needs contrast. So here we go. Raw Umber. Hmm. FX Bronze. And I have three different colors of red. I don't like any of them. And the basic truth is I don't like red. I don't wear it. I don't paint in it. And so for me to do something in red is right out of my comfort zone. And I don't like it. But it's Christmas. So we gotta, we gotta do it. I gotta step out of the box. Metallic yellow. Dragonfly glaze. This is actually a gold kind of a gold sparkle so it's not it's going to dry clear and it's just going to leave little deposits behind. I don't like that green. It was a metallic folk art color shift green. So let's go back to Artist Loft green. What color I'm not sure. And let's put some more red in because it's Christmas. This is a traditional Christmas red this one. Okay, let's put some yellow in the center, as if this was a poinsettia. Poinsettia, however you say that, everybody says it differently. More gold, because gold is pretty. All right, so I wanna go to black cell mix, because that's my comfort zone, but we're gonna do black and white. And we're going to see what happens. Maybe something, maybe nothing. I don't have hardly any white left, so that's all we have. And black on top of the center only. Just because. And quick torch. can't believe you should see the paint on my floor, you guys. There's blue paint everywhere. And I'm going to leave all these stupid bloopers so that you know... It happens to me too, you guys. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, red and yellow make orange. <laughs> so again, we don't have a Christmas piece, but it is pretty. So we're going to go with it and see what happens. Quick mop up with Payne's Gray while well, we're waiting for the center. All right. So let's do this. Let's modify our bloom, you guys. Let's just take our kebab stick and we're just going to go through here and we're going to dissect this and we're going to cut it all up and we're going to modify. We're going to do some now. We're going to do some later. And we'll see how this goes. So we are painting on a vinyl tile, you guys. And my base coat today is Beauty Tone by Home Hardware here in Canada. And I do have about 25% of the Deco Art satin, not satin, suede mixed in. So it is gonna have a bit of a textural component if I keep it, which I may not. Um, I like texture, not, it's not for everybody. It is for me. Um, I just think it adds lots of interest and I'm, I'm definitely a textural person in paintings. So we'll see how this goes. Try new things, you guys. 
I keep saying I'm going to do something different other than modified blooms, and I don't know what that is, but I am going to move forward. I have no experience with other techniques. When I started doing this, I picked a technique I really was very fond of, and it was bloom pours, the modifying I started on my own. Um, and I just concentrated my efforts on learning that technique. So I have zip experience on anything else. So it's time. It's time for me to move forward and experiment with different things and different techniques. So I don't know which way I'm going yet, in what direction. Um, you guys feel free. What should I do? Okay, well this doesn't look very Christmassy, but it's definitely really pretty. Got some neat things going on. My crimson red color, kind of this copper color paint was a homemade color and it's breaking up, but it's it's quite pretty the way it's doing it. It's not something I normally would be fond of, but right now it's kind of neat. Let's just add a little bit more in there so it slides a bit nicer. And let's just keep going. I'm going to come back down, stretch it all the way down, but not, not completely off. Right to there. So just let the paint do your work, you guys. If you want to take it off your, your left corner, tilt your paint to the right corner. Vice versa. Let the paint work. Okay, well this definitely doesn't say holly jolly Christmas, but I like it. So, we may have to declare it a keeper. I'm at that point now, guys, where if it doesn't resonate with me and I don't like it, I don't keep it. I just dump it. Okay, let's not go too crazy here. Oh, yay. How fun is that? How fun. Okay, you guys. I might normally not modify. I might have just left this. But we're going to modify it. And we're going to try to do it strategically here. I realized when I'm doing this, you guys, that I often have my hand up here. And you guys can't see. And so you know what? Remind me. Just say, hey, we can't see what you're doing. Because I get, there's too many things to remember. So here we go. We're going to just gently pop our kebab stick down and make our little swirls. This is going to give your leaves and petals a little bit of texture. They're going to look more floral, I think. So just a little bit of, just a sort of a delicate touch maybe. Even though sometimes the paintings are evil. And sometimes I come out with these really wild, crazy, like almost alien type flowers, which, you know, it's fun. You can add to it and modify as much or as little as you'd like, you guys. It's your piece. You do what feels right with you. And I don't want to do too much. And I'm going to actually just leave this edge. This is all breaking up, maybe because my base coat is off. But for some reason, it's really cool. So I'm going to leave it alone. Sometimes when that happens, my base coat's too thin. And it breaks the paint into these little particles. I have figured out that it is never, ever my pouring medium. It's always my base. And so this one was Beauty Tone Base mixed with about 25% Deco Art suede and I did put a scoop of pouring medium in and I really thinned it out because yesterday I was blowing out with my hair dryer and I was having problems with the paint so I thinned it quite considerably 
And I would suspect that that's some of the problem. So that's an easy fix. We can go right back in and add some more paint. And we're just going to take out some of this little white line I don't like. Let's change that a tiny bit. Okay, guys, I'm leaving it at that. This piece is super fun. I'm going to bring you down. We're going to have a look. We're going to ignore my mess. It's very bright for some reason today. And we're going to go right down in, and you guys can check out all these funky little details. Look at that. So if I come to this side of the table, now nah, we're still going to have major shadows. I don't have my light on. I forgot. So there you go. We're going to leave that like that, you guys. You guys are going to pour happy. You're going to stay safe. You're going to wear your masks. You're going to stay within your bubble. And we're all going to get through this, you guys. It's a weird new world we're living in. We can do it. You got this. It's only paint. Bye for now, guys.